Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Create Double Line Graphs activity. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and puzzle games and fun games to play, as well as teaching tools. And there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything's always free to play and use. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start the game, you're going to see this menu right here. You've got the More Games button. And that will take you to lofgames.com. That is our sister site that also has math games and puzzle games to play online. And there's never any membership or sign up required also. And everything is free to play. The video button will take you to the page on this game that has, I'm sorry, will take you to the page on MathNook that has this video in case you'd like to see that again. The instructions, really not much to say that I'm not going to go over, not much to see here other than what I'm going to go over. So I'm going to go ahead and click on back to the menu. Let's go ahead and click play. You have the standard buttons. This button will take you to the main menu. This will reset the, the uh, graph page and everything like that. Give, actually give you a new equation, I'm sorry, new chart to plot uh, the line graphs on. This will shut the music on and off. This will turn the sound completely on and off. So if you wanted to play the game with um, no music, but you wanted to have sound, you could just hit that, click this button right here, and it'll toggle it back on. The Submit button is what you will click after you draw the proper line graph. And uh, what I'll, I'll go ahead and create one. Really, it's pretty simple to play. All you're going to do is... In this case, it says complete the missing line of school one. So you got school one down here. So you'll want to plot, plot these points going from left to right. Well, 2010 um, is over here. So you're going to want to go plot the points from left to right. If I cl click any points here, say 350 here, you can see it's not going to register anything. So you want to get the leftmost one, which would be 2010. Let's go ahead and click 490. And then let's go ahead and 2011 is 490. So click that. And you've got the blue line there. Uh, the next one is 560. Go ahead and click that. Four goes back down to 420. And 350 is down here. So I can check these points. You got 490, 490, 560, 420, and 350. Now I can check submit. And it says, congratulations, you completed the level. You can go to the uh, next one by clicking this, get another one. Now, what I want to show you now, and, and that's really how, how you play. You just keep uh, graphing the ones, uh, the data points that are listed in the particular column that it's asking for. So this one, let's just go ahead. I'm just going to click a bunch of rant. Well, actually, I will go ahead and uh, Sunday is 600, and this is Sunday. Uh, 600 again, but let's go ahead and click some invalid points here and click submit. Now I know it's right. Um, the only one I know for a fact is right is, is 600. So I mean, I, this is incorrect, this line graph. And it says there's a mistake in the line graph you created. Drag this box to view the correct line graph. Now I'm not sure in the video, I guess you can, it depends on what uh, resolution you're running, but you can see in real dimmed out, real light the line I created and the one in green is the actual pull that down there is the correct one it has 600 600 then it jumps up to 800 then 900 it drops back down to uh, 100 and then 300 there's 100 and 300 so you, you see uh, both ways you're gonna you're gonna see what happens when you get you draw the uh, plot the complete correct line graph and then one when you do an incorrect what happens when you do an incorrect and that's basically it shows you the correct line graph that you should have drawn okay so and again I just want to be sure you've always got to start plotting from this point left to right and if you do that then you click sub submit if I click anywhere else it won't take it same thing here it's always got to be left to right let me go back to the main menu so that's how you play the game uh, little activity I should say um, 
hope you have fun playing with it. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact us at info at mathnook.com. And uh, so with any questions or suggestions, we're always open to those. So uh, just let us know if you do have any. And uh, thanks for watching.